guys, how's it going? Brad here, Bruce on Review. Thanks for stopping by, joining me for yet another beer review. Much appreciated tonight. Getting surly. Getting into my second surly beer. Thank, big thanks to Rich, Rich's World Beer Tour. Check him out, guys. Uh, he's a great beer reviewer. I really like his channel. And yeah, we swapped some beer. Hooked me up with a couple surly. This is the second one. I had the West Coast, overrated West Coast IPA. Good stuff. So tonight, Coffee Bender. 5.1% ABV. Is that what that was on there? Yeah, and 45 IBUs. Brewed and canned by Surly Brewing Company. Right in Minnesota there, guys. Brooklyn Center. Anyway, excited. Always excited to try something new and highly acclaimed by many people. If not most that have tried it, I think. Get a little aggressive on the pour. Just wanted to generate a little head on it. Have a look. Hard to see with that duel glass. The painting everywhere, but looks like a almost like more of an amber or an imperial amber ale than a brown ale. But in any case, hard to tell. We got a bit of haze. I don't know if it's really that cloudy, but it, really nice. Kind of choppy, but really packed on the same note. Uh, like light brown head on it. Ooh, looks like a really nice ale. Uh, let's get into that aroma. I already kind of caught a whiff there. Let's go. <sighs> yeah. It smells like really fresh coffee, like nice fresh coffee beans. Doesn't really get to that black or that kind of burnt coffee, but just that really fresh, fresh coffee bean aroma. Man. It smells really really nice though. I mean, I've had lots of these coffee, amber, brown, black, imperial, whatever, but the aroma's just that nice freshness. It's not like that really burnt black coffee aroma. It smells really nice. That's kind of all I pick up, that one note aroma. It smells good though. Let's get into it. Cheers. That's nice, wow. Oh wow. That, <laughs> that starts off with like, that nice roast, that fresh bean and then a nice roast to it. And then it melds into it, best I could describe it, it's like a Tim Hortons ice cap or like an ice cap maybe from somewhere else. I've only ever had an ice cap from Tim Hortons though, so. But it does, it turns into that kind of that sweeter note on the finishing end, because that flavor carries on quite a bit, that nice coffee punch. Hmm. this is awesome. Done just far too many of the coffee beers I've had. It just seems overdone or just too, too much of a black burnt coffee note. This is nice. It, it's almost, it has a refreshing quality to it. It's nice. This is a really good, good little beer. Good, big beer actually. Touch of chocolate there. Very, very finishing end of the palate. Just got a hint of chocolate. Really nice stuff. Really good. Thanks a lot, Rich. Coffee Bender refreshes like an iced coffee. 
as aromatic as a bag of whole beans and satisfying like your favorite beers. Your favorite beer, sorry. Utilizing the latest technology, the Surly Brew Team has developed a cold extraction process that results in an intense coffee, aromatic, and flavor, bringing together two of our favorite beverages. Pretty much me too, man. Coffee and beer, right? Your only dilemma will be whether to finish your day or start it with a coffee bender. I like it. And it is that 5%, so you can almost start your day with it, you know. Maybe start a weekend with it. Okay, one more, one more quick sip. I normally kind of know what I'm giving this beer. Oh yeah. Coffee bender for me. This is just done so well. The coffee mixture is done spot on. I'm giving it a 90. I totally like it. I dig it. Everything about it. Thanks a lot, Rich. I wish I could go buy a four pack of those, but I do appreciate getting the chance to just try it. Really awesome. So, thanks a lot, guys, for stopping by, checking out the review, and until next time, friends. Cheers.